ISO 9001 2015 quality management systems, how to implement them, what you need to focus on, what you need to create, what you need to implement, what you need to train all of your people on to help your quality management system help your organization win government tenders, improve processes, improve procedures, improve the outcomes of your organization. Hey, my name's Kobe Sim and I'm the CEO here at Best Practice. And in this video, I'm gonna be going through and talking to you about the 10 most popular questions with regards to ISO 9001 2015. What is the difference between ISO 9000 and ISO 9001? ISO 9001 is the dictionary. It's the terms and definitions, and ISO 9001 is the specification. It's like the to-do list to follow. So over in the dictionary, uh, just like legal contracts, uh, last night I was reading a deed of release for some legal, um, uh, some legal uh, proceedings I've been involved in, and at the very beginning of that deed of release was a set of definitions. So ISO 9000 and 9001 is written in exactly the same way. So 9000 is the definitions, the terms and definitions, so that people can understand what we're talking about, and ISO 9001 is the to-do list, the specification to follow.